as a consumer, when I'm going to the store, how do I know? How do I know what's genetically modified or not when it comes to you know any of the cereals or even the produce or the meats, any, any of the foods that, that we buy? We have non-gmoshoppingguide.com to help people. And on that site, we describe four tips. One, buy organic. They're not allowed to intentionally use GMOs. Two, buy products that are labeled non-GMO, particularly the non-GMO project verified label. Three, avoid the at-risk ingredients, which are listed in the shopping guide. There are nine genetically modified food crops, soy, corn, cottonseed oil, canola oil, sugar from sugar beets. There's alfalfa used as hay for animals. There's some zucchini, crooknake, squash, and papaya from China or Hawaii. Those are the only GM food crops right now. And there's the animal products from the animals that have been eating these. But we also have a shopping guide that has over 7,500 products that are third-party verified as non-GMO by the Non-GMO Project. And that's not only at non-GMOshoppingguide.com, it's also available as a free download from iTunes or for your iPad or your iPhone called Shop No GMO. So that makes it easier for people. Of course, we want these foods to be labeled if they are GMO, which will make it much easier for people. What, speaking of that guide, what are some of the worst foods in terms of GMO, GMOs? We hear of corn as being probably the most prevalent, but what are some of the ones to, to really watch out for? Corn and soy, I'd say, are the real serious ones, particularly because they're practically omnipresent. Now, the, pro the fact is that many of them appear as processed foods, and when they're processed, then maybe the DNA is gone or the proteins are gone, but they've still been messed up considerably by the process of genetic engineering, mm -hmm. so they're not considered safe. The more something has been processed in terms of genetic engineering, the less risky it would be. But mm -hmm. So if you have like corn on the cob from Monsanto that's both BT toxin producing and Roundup ready, which they sell at Walmart, that could be extremely dangerous. The only human feeding study ever done on GMOs for years was showed that part of the gene inserted into soybeans transferred to the DNA of gut bacteria inside our intestines and may have continued to function long after we stopped eating GMOs. So if you eat corn on the cob that produces BT toxin and that gene that produces the toxin transfers to your gut bacteria, it might turn it into living pesticide factories, possibly for the long term causing poking holes in our guts and leaky gut, which is linked to all sorts of things, according to doctors and scientists. So if you end up eating raw, genetically engineered foods, it's got the complete DNA intact, it's got the BT toxin intact, that would be quite dangerous.